There is already a Warlock that managed to hit top 6 DPS in the world. With fierce competition from Fire Mages and the super broken melee hunter, this is nothing short of impressive, so let's take a look at him and let's see what he's doing different so we can pump. This guy is Ledge and he is currently number 6 in the global leaderboards and he is taking more or less the build that I predicted. Uh, spoiler, we are going full fire again. We are gonna take 5 out of 5 Cataclysm for cheaper mana, then we're gonna take Bane because faster cast time, more damage obviously. Then we are gonna take Devastation here, 5% crit for free seems like a no-brainer. We are also gonna take Improved Firebolt for the Imp, we are going Imp. And we are gonna take Shadowborn. Shadowborn is just a cooldown that does a lot of damage, we're just gonna pop it when we gotta move because it is instant. And that's pretty much it, it is really nice to have. Then we are gonna take 2 points in Destructive Reach, this wasn't a huge deal in the previous tier, but right now in Nomeregan there is a lot of mechanics that hit you if you are close, so having that extra range is gonna help you a lot. Then we are gonna take 1 point in Ruin to double up our crits, and then we are gonna take 4 points in Immolate for extra boom boom, and then we are gonna take 5 points in Emberstorm for a hell of a lot of boom boom, this is 10% total damage right here. As you are seeing, they are not going Conflagrate, which I thought it was uh, gonna be the meta. Maybe it will be later because Conflagrate will scale better, but it is not the case right now. So yeah, that's it. They are going for the 10% extra damage. So far, aside from people not going Conflagrate, it is about all that I expected here. The thing that I didn't expect at all is that a lot of them including Ledge, are going Master Channeler. Okay, Master Channeler is uh, just a drain of life that's instant and it will just be another dot for you. Uh, meanwhile, Lake of Fire is 40% more damage. I was like, why wouldn't you take 40% more damage? Then I realized that at level 40 the spell costs are insane and in the first lockout healers are not very confident, your raid in general is not very good at the mechanics and the boss are dying slowly, so basically your healers can't keep up with you if you're going Lake of Fire. What's the problem with Lake of Fire? If you are dropping a Rain of Fire and cancelling it the first tick, you are wasting a lot of mana. That means you're gonna have to life tap a lot and that's something that the healers currently cannot handle. I expect that as the weeks go, you are gonna see people taking Lake of Fire now, but for now, the first few resets, especially if you are in a ca casual guild, just take Master Channeler. So if a Warlock is only 6th place now, wait until they are allowed to do 40% more damage. Then we're gonna see who's at the top, okay? Then we're gonna be taking Chaos Bolt, it's a huge boom boom cooldown, it's amazing, why wouldn't you take it? Of course. Then here, the new runes, we're gonna take Shadow and Flame here, this is 10% damage, every time you crit, this is a no-brainer, this is insane. And then we're gonna be taking for the legs, we're gonna be taking Incinerate, that shows a, a flat buff to our damage by 25%, another no-brainer right there. And for feet, we are gonna be taking Demonic Knowledge for extra intellect, that's pretty much it, it's free, free stats. Your pet is still gonna be the Imp, we have the Improved Firebolt talent here, so it will be doing a lot of damage even without Lake of Fire. Of course, you are gonna transition to Lake of Fire after you get some gear, so even more so the Imp is important. The best races for you are gonna be the Orc in the Horde for 5% more pet damage, that is pretty significant. Otherwise, you wanna go Gnome for 5% more intellect, that is more mana, that means less life taps, that means more damage. Okay, let's talk about your stat priority. Of course you wanna grab all your pieces with hit on them, uh, you're not gonna get a lot of hit this tier but it's fine, just take them. Then you wanna take fire spell power, that's it, that's it. Fire spell power is the most important stat you could possibly get. Of course intellect helps and stamina helps a little too I guess, but as awful as it sounds, the only intellect that matters for you is the intellect of your healer. Because as long as he can heal you, you will have enough mana to keep going pretty much forever. The Warlock is the hardest scaling caster in the game. Of course you wanna take advantage of that with the most spell power possible. Now let's talk about your rotation. You first wanna open with Course of the Elements, you know that gives you more damage for the whole raid. Then like I said before you are gonna be running either Master Channeler or Lake of Fire. The good part is both debuffs last exactly 15 seconds, so you just keep them up, that's it. <laughs> 
Then we are gonna pop Incinerate to get the 25% bonus damage on top of that. Then we are gonna throw a Chaos Bolt because we got all the bonus damage already stacked up and Chaos Bolt is the hardest hitting spell that you have. After that we are gonna drop Immolate and we are gonna refresh it. Next is Shadowborn. We took that talent because it is a great filler for a lot of damage even though it has a long cooldown. It is really nice because it is instant so you can throw it on the move when you have to move for a mechanic. Then we are gonna throw Incinerate last as a filler once all the other abilities are refreshed or on cooldown. For your AOE rotation this time, you have to be considerate. I know, I know, uh, but, but listen, okay, if you are going on an AOE encounter, you absolutely gotta take Lake of Fire, no question about it. If you are doing the full duration of Reign of Fire, it is actually super mana efficient. You wanna open with an Incinerate to a random mob to get the damage bonus and then you drop a Lake of Fire and you just do it for the whole duration. After that, you can also do a Hellfire once, unless the raid cannot really handle your, your damage that you're taking, otherwise uh, you can just throw a, a Reign of Fire again. That's basically it. Your consumables are gonna be Sagefish Delight because that's the food that gives you mana, then your potion, and this will be very strong for you, that will be the mildly irradiated rejuvenation potion that's a tongue twister. It gives you mana, it gives you health, and it gives you spell power on top of that. This is super efficient for you. You are a warlock, you turn health into mana, so you are getting an amount of value from these potions that no other class can get. Then you are gonna be taking the lesser arcane elixir for more damage and lesser wizard oil for a little more mana. Wizard oil doesn't give you hit this time, sorry. Now, if you look at the Archon right now, these numbers are changing every day as more and more people hit level 40 and they get more gear. As the first few days of the phase, we had Hunters doing 350 DPS on average and the Warlocks doing 307. Here is a stream clip of me showing you just that a couple days ago. They were tied in second place with the Shadow Priest, which is a whole can of worms on its own, but the Hunter was doing 16% more damage than the Warlock at the time. Move on to the later, the melee hunter is still pulling an outrageous 400 DPS, which is still about 50 DPS ahead of the Warlock. The Warlock is now arguably tied with the mage at about less 5 DPS, but regardless, okay? The difference between the first place and the Warlock is now 13%. It may not sound like a lot to you, 13% difference after 16%, but let me remind you people, this happened in the span of 3 days. The gap is closing very fast, that means that Warlocks with at best like 3 pieces of gear are increasing their DPS already by 17%. Imagine how much crazier it's gonna get once they get all the gear. I would be shocked if the Warlock is not a second place in this tier, of course the melee hunter will be inevitably nerfed to the ground because this is Blizzard after all, it, it always goes that way with the hunter, but I am concerned for second place for one thing. This iteration of the Fire Warlock doesn't have any exponential component to it, okay? While linearly the Warlock is the hardest scaling class in the game, there is a spec that is stepping on our heels right now, the Fire Mage, and they are slightly exponential. So it is possible that the Warlock will be outmatched, at least in the leaderboards, once the Fire Mages get all their best in slot. It is gonna be a close call, but no matter how you look at it, one thing is absolutely for certain. Warlocks are said to be one of the main DPSers of the tier. And it's only up from here. I can't wait. Subscribe, leave a like, join the Discord, and thank you for watching.